Hey, it's JC1424 once again with NASCAR Rivals. And in this episode of our season as Chase Elliott, driver of the number nine Kelly Blue Book Chevrolet, we're going to the Indianapolis Roval for the Verizon 200 at the Brickyard. This track is like the hardest track to drive in this game. The car gets out of control so easily. Like it always going on two wheels or three wheels or you hit the brakes and then it spins out. It's like Dirt to Daytona or something. But last episode, raced at Pocono, finished third because Daryl Walter Kai bossed it into turn two on the last lap, and then Denny Hamlin won. So very reflective of what happened in real life in that race. But here are the season standings after that one. We have a 65-point lead over Denny Hamlin, which is just over a full race. And you've got Bill Elliott, who's he's over two races behind, and Alex Bowman, Kyle Larson, William Byron are all on this first page, and they're all kind of moving forward. Alex Bowman pit with one lap to go, so yeah, he lost some points to Bill Elliott. He could be ahead of him right now, for all we know. You know Kyle Busch, he, he could have won the race too, but he pit with one lap to go. and Well, he's 15th in the standings, and that's all that's really worth mentioning. Here are the championship mode settings, or at least for this race in specific. I'm going to change some stuff up because it's a road course. 105 difficulty, uh, full damage, DNFs are on. I am concerned. I think I might DNF because it is so hard to not wreck the car. And we got four times wear and fuel consumption, less wear, more grip, just black flags, no cautions, but we will have this, the stage breaks. That way we make sure we have good green flag runs, not some AI bull crap. And if someone spins out, we'll just have to avoid them and hopefully not die. And I'm not qualifying. And the AI settings, we're going to set to wide skill range so they spread out really quickly. An expanded starting spread to help with that. And then frequent mechanical failures because, I don't know, I just remember Kyle Larson crashed into Ty Dillon last year. So because of that, we're going to have frequent mechanical failures. We also had freaking Chris Buescher catching on fire in that race. Welcome to the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. I'm Alex Hayden, and today we return to the famed Brickyard for some road course action. This track offers a lot of different sections for passing and door-to-door -door action. It'll be fun to watch. I don't actually know what the heck we're looking at whenever the camera pans to the, the fans. Usually they look at the driver, but they didn't do that there. So, yeah, I got my Pepsi. So every single can is printed differently. Like the tab will be in a completely different spot and all the logos will be in a different spot. Because I don't want to just open a can of Pepsi on the video and then you not even know what it is. So I got to hold it at the right angle. You got to be photogenic or videogenic. That's not a word, but no practice. Like I said, none of the qualifying. Where am I starting in this one? 38. So two guys got sent to the tail of the field. Let's find out who those are. The drivers are ready. The cars are gridded. Let's head to the yard of bricks and get those engines fired for the Verizon 200 at the Brickyard. Oh my God, Alex Bowman is going to win this race? He says he's been dominant all weekend. Tyler Reddick, oh my God. How many times is he going to start the back of the field? And the other guy was Matt Kenseth, but he's not even supposed to be here. So, yeah, there's Daryl Waltrip. Fuck you, man. There's no caution. Fuck you. Okay, I probably deserve that. Um, <laughs> okay. So, now back to our, our regularly scheduled programming. Let's have a nice, normal race here. See those those guys behind us. Poor Tyler Reddick though. God damn. This, he finished like shit in the last race. And then all those races before, they keep make him start the back of the field. And you know, yeah, they're all getting on the brakes really early. Denny Hamlin is back here. I think the qualifying for the Indianapolis Roval is quite random. I don't know what the deal is. But you don't have these amazing drivers all start up front and slow drivers start at the back. They just start wherever. But my teammate has a chance to win this race, and if it's not him, then maybe it'll be me. Or maybe someone's faster than him, and they just qualified behind him. But if he's on fire, then I, I kind of expect him to to win this race and just drive away with it. Um, it, it might depend on what they do in, in turn one, because like you always have the, the guy on the wrong side of the track. There's no choose cone, and the leader doesn't get to start on the inside, because it's a, a right corner. It's not a, a left-hand corner. I gotta be really careful. Okay, Mr. Logano, jackass. 
Some guy just spun. Looks like Christopher Bell. I could be wrong. Oh, Cindric. Damn. They just dive it in. They don't give any fucks. No shits. But yeah, this is two laps in this first stage. I'm up to 23rd. And we're about to have a couple restarts, obviously, because there's two more stages after this. Do not drive into the grass. Oh, freaking. Is that Jacques Villeneuve? Where's Lori Hesmans? Dude, I don't remember. I can never remember. They drive the exact same car. I think the only difference is there's like a slightly paler orange for Lori Hesmans. But see, that, that's the problem. That you can't actually make the comparison unless you're at the mini. Damn. Having to avoid people spinning out. And you do that in real life, but usually they don't pull on the track and sit in the way. Something that Tyler Reddick did at Pocono. Now, he's had it really hard. We crashed into him at Pocono because, I don't know, he just sat in the way like a moron. Uh, I, I watched What Ifs video racing this track recently, and he had a very hard time. It, it was was not happy time for What If. I think that's actually partially What Ifs' fault. I expect more from him. Why? Why? Why would you make it three wide in this section of the track? Yeah, What If, you should do something like that instead. Uh, banana boy over here is showing what if up. Yeah, you can't get on the gas. You just can't get on the gas at this godforsaken track. Like, you get on the throttle, the car just spins out. So I have to wait until the corner is over, which is way after you actually finish the corner. That was not pretty. Maybe it was a little sexy, I don't know. The electric slide. So we're up to 19. And you know, the more laps you give me, the more laps I can pass cars. Oh, I should take control of that. I have a habit of missing this corner. I kept on missing this corner a bunch when I was practicing for this race. Do not go over the grass. I already saw how that turns out. Cindric, damn. You talented motherfucker. Why are you back here? They don't even give Cindric good road course ratings? I don't care. Fuck off. Oh, and there's Daryl Waltrip. How the heck did I get to Daryl Waltrip last time? Okay, fine, Cindric. Bye. Ah! Ah! True. Yeah. Daryl Waltrip. I dumped his shit a while ago whenever I was doing this, but I didn't come up on him until the end of this first stage. I'm kind of in a rush to get this video done. You gotta drink my Pepsi. I'm in a rush to get this video done because there's a Euro NASCAR race at Brands Hatch that um, the countdown to green said like 39 minutes or something a while ago. Yeah, go ahead and fix that one second of damage. It'll probably kill me in the straightaways and you should do it now rather than later. So we're freaking 20th. I could have been 18th. Cedric just lost four spots. I mean, I, I, people are gaining spots, losing spots. Everyone's moving all over the place. And anyhow, we managed to stay right in the same spot despite fixing a second of damage. So I probably could have been like 17th or something. So we got four laps in the second stage. Still not long enough for green flag pit stops. Damn, they are smashing the brakes over here. I'm going to try to not dive bomb somebody. I mean, I'm sure I'll pass a few cars at the restart. Yeah, that's fair. Help me with track position, but... I, I, I think it's yours, it's taking advantage of the stupidity of the AI a bit much whenever they just love to give away 10 spots every restart. So I'd rather, I don't know, like maybe a few and then try to use the, the green flag run for the rest. Damn, Ryan Blaney. When I was practicing for this race, he actually won. But now he's in traffic, so I guess it's not happening. I will stop you. Battling with Bill Elliott over here. For now I'm trying to focus on not running these guys over. That corner over there, specifically, is one of the more harder ones. Logano, that's the second time. Just, just fuck off, stupid head. I'm surprised I'm still next to Logano after all this, but I guess he gained spots on pit road. I'm trying to take it easy right now. I don't want to. Gotta go, Freaking gnat flying in my face. I don't want to find myself gassing up and then spinning it out. Oh, fine, we're all crashing each other, bumper cars. Oh, why did you hit the brakes like that? That just tore my front bumper a lot. That's in probably like two or three seconds of damage. I'm trying to get into the top ten. The car's going to cut the track. It's very distracting when there's a gnat flying in my face. Kozlowski, what are you doing? Just go. Stupid. I do the weeble wobble. I have a gnat problem. This did not happen until this year. How do you get rid of gnats? Someone tell me things. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna block you. 
I don't know what your breaking point is, but it definitely works better than you than it does for me. You can go away now, Keslaus. So we're 11th. I should be in the top 10 by now, but... Some of these, these corners, the AI, they drive so weird in it that you're basically forced to either A, run them over, or B, get all packed together with them. I don't know how that was not uh, considered corner cutting. I see you flip the grass and they give you corner cutting. Not so much on the second one, the curve, afterwards. Okay, so we're getting back on Bill Elliott again. Okay, that's how you take that corner. Bill Elliott, oh my god. Ugh. Um, we're trying to get around him. Just gas it up. There, we're clear. Finally, that's over with. And I get a little loose here sometimes. Oh, look at it go. I don't know why I kept missing this corner earlier. Oh, shit, Briscoe's spun himself out. We're up to eighth. We're coming up on the halfway point of the stage. Now, a lot of these corners I had definitely needed practice, otherwise I'd be doing awful in this video. To figure out, like, why I was missing a corner, or why I kept on getting corner-cutting penalties. Try to study what the hitboxes is for, for the corner-cutting. Usually I practice while doing a race. I practice the race. I don't actually go into practice sessions on the video, because that would just make the recording longer, and I don't feel like doing that. The whole rendering process can suck. And we're up there. I think we're automatically going to finish better than where we run because of when the AI decide to pit in the final stage. That final stage is like 12 laps or 10 laps. Something around there. Ugh, let's slip past William Byron. Looks like I've got a decent amount of straightaway speed up to 7. Yeah, our fuel tank goes 4 laps. So, I mean, I'm not really concerned by the light. If they made this stage 5 laps, that would be awesome. And then we would have to take a pit stop and strategize our way into either getting points or maintaining track position, one or the other. Now, I don't think there really is any rush right now to pass all three of these guys, but I think I can. Because we have a whole lap after this, and then no one else I can see from here. I just got crossed over by Ross Chastain. Well, damn. And he is on my inside. Ugh. Yeah, well, we got freaking Michael McDowell over here bicycling it. Gas it up, clear them. Okay, we're up to fit. I don't think I see anybody else taking pit stops right now. They should be smart enough to not do that. And then I don't think they're having to take pit stops at the end of a stage. See, I'm taking it really easy on the throttle off that final corner. Because at one point I was practicing an IDNF from hitting the pit wall. Which, that sounds like it would kill somebody. So I don't want to do that. And I also don't want to flip the curb and get a corner cutting penalty. So I'm better off just... Staying slightly up to speed. Don't worry about being fast. Just worry about not getting corner cutting penalties. Somebody is blowing up. That is Almendinger. Is that the second race in a row that Almendinger's blown up? The shit. I, I swear he did just last race. At, uh... What was the last race? Pocono. Yeah, that was the last race. Good God. Oh, boy. Let's miss Larson. Hey, he kept it on the track. He kept it all good and everything. I just barely clipped him. I was afraid he was going to wreck himself and spin and all that. You know, these Heat AI, these Monster Games AI. They don't know how to recover their cars. You have all these settings to affect how they're capable of recovering a car, but I don't think they're actually good at it. They lose control rather easily. We're there. I can get to third. Which is pretty great considering we came from 20th. Obviously, I passed five damn cars at the start of every stage. Oh, just barely cleared them. That was nasty. The more cars I pass, the better. Because I have damage repair. And I also have to worry about steering too much whenever you come on to the front stretch. Because whenever you do that, as the car shifts gears, it can spin out. Um, the gears have a lot to do with it. And turning too much as you gas it up has to do with it. Kurt Busch is running second. Man, this is an interesting lineup. Bowman, Bush, McDowell. Well, he's always great on road courses these days. And you got Suarez is running 10th, but his first win was Sonoma, so that shouldn't be surprising either. If I don't stop, we've got three seconds of damage. Which is apparently only three spots. 
Okay, I, I really don't feel like cheating this free star whatsoever. I think that the guy in the 15 car, maybe it was Ryan Priest, was one of the people who DNF. AJ Allmendinger, he was blowing up or something, and he was driving really slow, but I don't know if he actually DNF. Okay, so yeah, that that's how you're supposed to restart a race at uh, Indianapolis Roval. That is not what they do in real life. All these guys behind me trying shit, but I'm not having it. At least I've constantly got the inside advantage. I am just giving my teammate the opportunity to, to win this race instead of die bombing it. So if he can drive away from me, then credit to that guy. But now, I've got all these laps, a couple green flag stops or whatever, to see if I can strategize my way into winning this race. Yeah, it's only a 22 lap race. This track probably takes like a minute and a half to get around. We'll also skip laps between the, the stages. I already passed Larson, but yeah, I, I lost positions fixing my damage. Because if I had never been fixing my damage, I would have a total of four seconds of damage right now. Which, that's a lot of loss of straightaway speed that I would need to be able to compete with Alex Bowman if I can. And he is just driving away. Michael McDowell has taken advantage of the restart. He's gotten past Kurt Busch, and they, they do not know how to finish that corner. I've seen them miss that corner all the damn time since I've started practicing for this race. Also, I never explained why I'm driving this car in this video. Because this track sucks, and this paint scheme sucks. So, they go together. I mean, I, I think I'm fast enough to maybe finish second on speed. Definitely third. We've beaten McDowell, but now McDowell has picked up the pace. And I'm right there behind Kurt Busch. I, I am surprised I haven't gotten corner-cutting penalties yet. That first attempt doesn't count because all I wanted to do was wreck Errol Walter because he did that to me at Pocono. I had to get it out of my system. Oh, oh, be careful there. Oh, here we go. This is where I get my biggest run of the track. And then I have to shift gears and, you know, freaking Monster Games did not ever program their AI to shift gears, I guess. The thing is, really not supposed to have to shift gears that much in the first place, are they? I don't think so. But then suddenly they have five gears, so these AI look so weird because they can just always be on the throttle or whatever in a straightaway. They don't have to hit the clutch and shift gears or whatever in their AI. That's not programmed. Yeah, we are faster than McDowell. I'm not seeing myself close in on Bowman. I'm kind of maintaining the same gap with him at the moment. I'm not sure. We'll see things play out. Hopefully, if we are on the same strategy with our, our pit stops, then... I do manage to have a good enough pit stop to stay with them. But some guys, they pit like a lap earlier than they're supposed to, and they wind up having to take more fuel or some shit. And other guys, they actually pit late like me. Because I go as far as I can. I go four laps, which means I think my last pit stop, I only need to like take half a tank or something. One can. I'm not going to take any tires on my last pit stop, but I am going to take tires on my first pit stop. This is why I'm upset that we don't have five laps in the second stage, because you'd have to take a pit stop. And we'd somehow, some way, you would still have to take two pit stops in this stage because you can't go that far. I'm trying to catch McDowell. I get there, and then I lose him. That was that was so messy. You gotta make it as straight as possible. And I'm sending it all sideways. It's mostly important that you just don't go off the track and get uh, a penalty. Because you lose way more time from doing that than you do by taking the corner sloppy. Right, there. Fuel. Yeah, yeah, fuel, whatever. So this is our third lap of the run. We have a whole other lap after this. I might be getting held up a little bit by McDowell. But still, I, <laughs> we're holding the same gap with Alex Bowman. He actually is the fastest guy this weekend. But this is a road course. Oh shit, I'm finally missing this corner. See, that, that's what they always do. That's what, when they programmed the driving line for these AI, that's what they did. They took the corner like that. They missed it, and they just left it like that. Stupid motorsport games. Stupid. Though, I don't know if it was like that on uh, NASCAR Heat 5, whenever they added the Indianapolis road course. So, Alex Bowman did just pit a lap earlier than he was supposed to. That kind of takes him out of the chance to win the race. You, eh, kind of sad. 
That, that's that's pretty sad. He was the fastest guy on the track, and they have him on the wrong strategy. What am I doing? How is that not a penalty? <laughs> of all the things that can be a penalty, I just abuse the track limits. And I cannot stop battling with Michael McDowell. We are obviously faster than him, but I mean, damn. Every little mistake that I make allows him to just be faster than me. There's only certain sections of the track, like that chicane back there, where we actually pull away. Yeah, we're going to take our first pit stop of this final stage with eight laps left in the race. I don't actually know the pit road speed limit. They do not put it up on screen like they do every other track. Usually, sometimes you don't see it because of the angle it's at, but here, no, they just they don't ever tell you. Surprisingly, I got no damage in the first four laps of that run. That is awesome. But, you know, like I said, I've got to take four tires and fill the tank. Wow. This is uh, not a good pit stop. I swear they're capable of having much faster than 16 seconds or whatever. Kurt Busch beat us off pit road. Well, that's annoying. Because I had passed him before we even started taking our pit stops, didn't I? So that puts Alex Bowman back to the lead with a huge gap. So yeah, he definitely had a faster pit stop, but that's the problem. It doesn't matter because they got him on the wrong damn strategy. At least I think so. We all have to take pit stops, but he might just pit um, starting the last lap of the race somehow. I think it's bull crap. I'll be happy if I win the race or lose it to McDowell or Kurt Busch. As long as we're running good, getting points on Denny Hamlin. But man, I'd be a lot happier if Alex Bowman won because he deserves it. He's got a stupid crew chief making him pit on the wrong damn time. Now we're just faster than Kurt Busch. I'm not faster whenever I drive like that, but that's kind of how I have to drive that way. Ugh. And we clear him. Round off that corner. I can see Alex Bowman. I can see him. But, like, I'm just not fast enough. So this time by, we're going to have five laps to go. I think. Five to go. You got this. Oh, shit. Well, that's not good. Well, I can't get the car back on the track. Well, I gassed it up and spun the damn thing out. So there goes two positions. There goes three positions. There goes four positions. I got to deal with Joey Logano again? Fuck that. Well, that was a work of art. They could have put my bumper at one point and held me back, but no, I barely just cleared my daddy, Bill Elliott. Dono is back, and I'm trying to stay on the throttle, but I you can't do that there. Spin the car out in the straightaway. Okay, four laps to go. McDowell is leading. Okay, I guess Bowman just took his last stop. You gotta come in for gas here. I'm gonna pit with him just because I I, I want to see how things play out I want to see what kind of pit stop he has to see if he wins this race we should see Alex Boeing fly by in a bit because he just pit a while ago and took care of his stop so yeah like I said no tires we got a lot left in the tires for three laps to go here and then yeah because we're only gonna be like two laps short if I didn't pit so we're gonna get two laps of fuel there's Bubba Wallace. That was a 6.4 second stop. 
It really pisses me off that we don't have pick for animations. There's Kevin Harvick. I'm thinking these are all guys. Oh, they're falling a lap down because that's how long this green flag run is and how slow some guys are. But I don't understand how Kevin Harvick over here is that far behind. He's Kevin Harvick. He's fast on road courses most of the time. Well, if he's that slow and everything, then I should pass him in a bit. That was an awful angle of that chicane. So we are leading just barely over Alex Bowman. If he doesn't have to pit, hopefully they don't make him. It's going to be a battle between me and him to the line. I would really appreciate if they would stop making Alex Bowman pit at the end of races that he could win. That, that's that Twice in a row, that's rough. Okay, so I've got lap traffic. Alex Bowman's going to have lap traffic. And I haven't exactly pulled up next to Harvick just yet, but we might right here. Oh, there we go. Oh, boy. He kicked out sideways. Hell! Okay. I am the leader. Fuck face. You have no reason to battle for this, this spot on the track. We're not getting another caution, but no, they wouldn't know that. There's a gnat flying in my face again. I can't. I'm trying to drive. Damn it. Bowman is faster. He's slightly catching us. But if he pits at the end of this lap like they made him do at Pocono, then, then none of it matters. I can't get past these slow cars because they're not letting me go. I almost got past Harvick, but he decided to dive into the corner and do whatever that was. Whoa! I'm trying! God damn, no, get on the track. And there, here goes Bowman, because I can't get past these stupid lap cars. Oh my god, Bowman, Bowman! <laughs> well, they, they made the battle for the win more exciting, but again, what the hell is it going to mean if he pits at the end of this lap? Oh god, I'm missing this corner. I just didn't want to hit him, so I decided to go around him if I'm going to miss the corner. Now he's going to get held up by the lap cars too. This is stupid. It's good. It's stupid. But he's better at passing lap cars than me. Harvey got past Bubba Wallace, so I guess that's all that he wanted to sort out. Still there. Yeah, this Bubba Wallace was the third wheel in this uh, lap car situation. Oh, God. That was messy. Would you go away? God damn it, man. Looking forward here. Clear outside. I'm, I'm trying to get rid of him. No pressure from behind. Don't you say he's pitting. No, he's not. Shut up. No. Stop it. Fuck this shit. Piece of shit. Stupid fucking dumbass game. Through the polka dot car shop sign one more time. That was an interesting way to put it. I can't find the leaderboard. Yeah, Michael McDowell is five seconds back. Which, even if I got a corner cutting penalty, that would still not be enough to pass me and take the win. My only competition was Alex Bowman, and they took the competition away, making this kind of lame. Actually, really freaking lame. Would you shut up about going down pit road? I'm not going to pit on the last lap. Take these corners one more time. It was a good race. There was good racing. Lots of action. It was fun. God damn, why is like the gap behind me for Bill Elliott, Christopher Bell, and Truex increasing so damn much? Maybe it's because it's a road course. I don't freaking know. But we're going to get our ninth win of the season before we even start. The dadgum playoff shit. And they played the rock and roll music. Okay, let's do a little burnout. Well, there's the other 15 car. And Garrett Smithley. Yeah, we won. Because Alex Bowman's crew chief screwed him over. I don't remember the name of Alex Bowman's crew chief, but fuck that guy. And we're in the Indianapolis Motor Speedway victory lane. Even though we didn't win at Indianapolis Motor Speedway, we won at this stupid road course that should not be on the schedule. And neither should the damn oval. Both do not feel appropriate at all for NASCAR. Of course, we had the, the damn fastest lap. But Alex Bowman led the most laps and did get to win the race because his crew chief is freaking stupid. And yeah, we're on the move, start 38th, finished first. And of course, the tough break goes to AJ Allmendinger, the, the road course ringer. 
and then he starts blowing up and he did wind up DNFing. I wasn't sure at first, but I'm sure we had a few others because we had frequent failures on, just like in real life. Alex Bowman did go on to finish eighth, so that's nice. So at least he still collects a bunch of points. William Byron didn't finish too badly, he finished 12th, and Kyle Larson's up here. So it's a decent day for Hendrick Motorsports. Yeah, Michael McDowell, he's underrated on these road courses. He hasn't won a road course yet, unfortunately. We see a lot of them. And look at the rest of this stuff. Ryan Blaney, Denny Hamlin finishing 15th after starting way at the back of the field for some reason. And our DNFs were Corey LaJoy, Brad Keselowski, A.J. Almendinger, and, of course, Ryan Priest. Yeah, I saw him. I'll see you guys next weekend when we go to Michigan International Speedway for the Firekeepers Casino 400. We haven't driven that car in a while, so I'll go ahead and bring that out for Michigan. Let's look at the point settings before we end off this video. I need to get this done fast because I want to watch this... Uh, NASCAR race at Brands Hatch that's going on. That's a 91-point lead. That's a race and a half. That's what that is. I mean, he, yeah, he got no stage points and didn't even finish top 10. Bill Elliott, he ran a good race the whole time. So, I mean, Alex Bowman might have won the first stage and the second stage, but he finished behind Bill Elliott, so I don't know if he actually gained much at all. But now look at this. Kyle Larson, William Byron have moved up to 5th and 6th. They're all right here in this bracket. I just need Bill Elliott to have some bad races. And well, I think Denny Hamlin's a lost cause. He only got four races left of the regular season championship. And then he got Ryan Blaney, Kevin Harvick, like usual. But uh, yeah, I need to get out of here. See you next time. That's that. And episode over.